So instead, we're going to jump over to Averett versus Randolph Macon. Once again, a undefeated team. So I have a bias now. I apologize, but I hate undefeateds. You all know this by now. I've said it like five <laughs> times. I think I think we all know you don't like undefeated teams. And the difference this time is that Randolph Macon, if I'm looking at my notes properly, is undefeated with three games versus yes, they are currently Shenandoah B, who was undefeated with two games last round. Yes. Um. One thing I do remember from Randolph Macon uh, is they absolutely dismantled GMUC. And I believe the way that they did that was they were just super aggressive, as they are doing right now. And their team play was absolutely impeccable. And they won almost every single, um, like, air contest, which allowed them to just continue their onslaught of offense. So I'm curious to see if um, how Averett Esports is how we're going is a... Uh, I say Avery, right? Um, how Avery Esports is going to um, combat their super aggressive play style. Yeah, so because it's a full word, I can help you pronounce it and say it properly. <laughs> its first letter is A, so it's an A sound. Avery. Avery. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. It's not an acronym. I can say it properly. All right. I don't think I've... I don't, has Avery been on... Yes, they have been. Yes, they've been on stream before. So I'm sorry, I, I remember, remember Ardu thinking I'm like, "Ha, it's pretty close to Angel." <laughs> oh, oh, I I remember these names now. Um, yeah. Production, can you go ahead and switch on the numbers instead of the names, please? I don't want to. I don't want to mess up again. <laughs> uh, let's we'll see, Furzier. That's all I've seen so far. I remember Gino. I remember Gino. Actually, wait, am I seeing things or did Averett switch up their? team since last week because there's a yeah, yeah i think I remember, they did swap in a player yeah because i i remember warm and sweaty and i remember Ardnu, but there's a third name in there that i don't quite recognize yeah and i can't and quite read it once moment. again randolph making proving that they are just super aggressive and no amount of defense can help you leap stain that is a new name to me yeah, I don't. I didn't see. That's why I was questioning on whether Avery's been on stream now because I'm like, I don't recognize Leapstain. <laughs> I mean, it's following a similar uh, naming scheme as the other one, where this time, rather than having it sound similar to things that cannot be said on stream, it's just P backward and then the word stain. Oh, he might have done a name change. It might just be a name change. We'd have to ask the team itself. Um. At the same time, I don't believe there's any rules against having subs, but I uh, also no, don't know all as, the rules. As long as you, um, as long as you let the tos know, I think like at least an hour before that you're gonna have a sub. I think it's perfectly fine, but don't quote me on that. Um, but I think that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, don't quote us on any of it, especially if you are, you know, in the tournament. You should know the rules better than us. We're just talking faces. <laughs> We're not even faces right now. We're just talking voices. Oh I my god! The the boot the the jump reset on the the ball. I love when I love when players do that. It's so cool. It's such a cool tech that they have in the game. Yeah, I can comfortably say I've never done it properly. I have been able to do it once. <laughs> well, you know, you that's one better than I have. And Randolph making going for a lot of shots, but Ardnu and Warm and Sweaty not quite able to take that easy ride up to the top. Leapstain, however, going in for a shot a little bit wide, now just trying to apply pressure while his teammates grab his boost. Um, Gino is probably going to try and push out, push the ball into Averett. Uh, it gets pushed out. Unfortunately, Leapstain's contesting the ball. Yeah, it's also on the other side and that he wants to Averett. Congrats, Takes Ardnu. First point. Yeah, let's look at this. This one was kind of just a scramble with the ball. It got to center, and Ardnu took the opportunity, propelled a little bit by leap stain, to push it into the goal. Yeah, that was that was a uh, that was that was a cluster right there. Nope. Once again, I am on the side of Averett. So, let's see more of that. Ardnu, we share a name. Go get it. <laughs> we, we share we share a drive. We share a name. You are my friend. <laughs> We're friends now. And in the words of, I think this is a, a TikTok, we're going to have soft tacos later. 
<laughs> We're friends now. We're having top tacos later. <laughs> Yay! Ah! Nice for his ear. Hey, good save by Ardu, though. Yeah, very good. He tried, Juke. he tried. Yeah, but, Juke uh, and Solo pushing. Nice job. Yeah, he won, uh, Furzio won the air contest, as as they do. As it does. Ooh, demo off the start into an immediate goal. Oh, wow. I, that's not... Yeah, let me, let me, let me see the replay on this. What, what exactly happened? He bumps okay, the so... ball, demos even uh... though he's above? Yeah, it looks like, um, who was it, Leapstain, who was up? I think it was uh, Leapstain that went for the ball, didn't quite jump at the right moment, so he ended up getting demoed. And then, because of the demo, um, Ardnu was not able to follow up against the ball at a uh, it, fast enough, so it just went into the goal. Smoke screens are really, really uh, powerful in Rocket League. Yeah, it is kind of unfortunate that it turned out that way, since... Off the bat goals like that kind of just feel dirty. They they do feel dirty. Also, I would like to say I did see that air dribble for Azir, and that was very, very close to the goal. Yeah, Big City Slam trying to go for it. Unfortunately, blocked by Leap Sane. You going a little bit high. Furzier kind of just saving the ball for Gino. Gino's going to push it up, try to get it for someone else. And Furzier comes back in with it. Furzier with four, six shots on goal with four of them being scored. Furzier is so unbelievably dirty with his air, with his just follow-ups in general. It doesn't matter. It does not matter where the ball is. He hits them. Off the bat again. Please don't be another demo one. An, Good. An, a, an absolute sniper. Furzier's your enlist. He's so dirty. Snipe the ball from anywhere in the field. Are we going to do a better job this time trying to keep up on MVPs of the day or no? I mean, like, I'm pretty sure Ed Frazier is a pretty big MVP. Yeah, but, like, we've got a few more games to come up with. We do. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping note. Adback was also a very strong force in last game. This is But very he's not true. nearly as dominating as Frazier is in this game. This is true. we got to remember to keep track of these earlier so that we can keep total points scored as well as assists, and then we have to figure out a point system for it. Fun, fun fact. I have, uh, I have been making notes. <laughs> I'm proud of you. The, the, once again, Freezy just scored a goal. Oh my God, he's we're at eight goals. Chill, guys. I think you won. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Like relax. I love that control he had on the wall, just waiting for the ball to line up properly so he could tip it in with a flip. Yeah, Freezy. Freezy is such an unbelievably strong player. Oh, here he goes again. Yeah, 30 but like, seconds remaining. Like, but did you see what he did there? He he spiked the ball straight down in front of his teammate so he could push it forward with Gino coming from behind, which is just absolutely insane, the amount of air control he has. And once again. <laughs> once again, as well as a new record in total yeah. points scored by one team. Yeah. Throughout the tournament. Oh, okay, no, you stole that, man. That was that was that was uncool. Well, <laughs> had, you uh, don't have that. <laughs> an honor thief, I see. You know what? I'm have to deduct a point. I don't make the rules. Actually, I do make the rules, but like I just follow them. <laughs> yeah, what was gonna say? What are you saying? You don't make the rules. <laughs> we are making them up as we talk. <laughs> but that was a uh, that was once again a very good goal. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the stats on this game. Did you see what happened? Did you see what what was happening right there with Randolph Macon and how they're super aggressive? They had three people completely spread across the field. While one of them was candling the ball, they had one person on the left side who was further back and one person who was slightly behind Frizier so he could follow up on anything that he did. And then if the ball ended up getting taken, which they had complete control of, the other person who was back left could just easily rotate to the back and uh, try and uh, block the goal or whatever was happening on their side of the field. It's just, they they move in such, like, they move in sync, and it's so, so scary to play against this team. I think it should be scary to play against any team here. I but mean, I, I agree, but I think, I, I think Randolph Megan is a, an especially standout team with how their super aggressive play style. I would really like to see someone play against, like, play against their play style in a similar way and 
14 seconds. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the follow up. The follow up. He's, he's there. He's hit from anywhere. <laughs> just like we saw with Shenandoah B earlier. It's just such good follow up with your teammates. This is friendship. The power of friendship the power compels of friendship. them. Oh my god, he almost he almost really did just rebound to himself. That was almost insane big city. Almost but, uh, but it's okay because because Furzier is always there to follow up. Yeah, he's he's aiming for it. <laughs> he's always there. Even if big city slams made it, there was someone else to come up behind him. You know, actually, I think what a viable strategy would be against Runoff Macon is to, like, try and constantly... Oh, wow. <laughs> try and constantly demo Furzier while the other three people... Um, or while the other two people just try to take control of the ball and have a uh, one-two assist constantly. But I don't know how, how well that would work. Considering it's hard to demo, but still... I don't think it's I, viable Because I feel to... like Randolph Macon has three strong players, and it's like, it, it, like, what do you do against that? Like, you can't just stop one of them. You have to stop all of them. So, like, what, what's the plan? Look at it! He, ah. did the, he did the ball reset again. He did the jump reset. That was a 1v3. What, what, what do you do against that? Look at that. It's, oh, my God. It's such a cool tech. It's so insane. It's so hard to pull off. But big city. Good job. That was so clean. I hate to say it, but it's looking like Randolph Macon, of any of the teams, is the most deserving of their undefeated <laughs> record at the moment. Yeah, um, um, Nova is also undefeated, but, or I think it's Nova, I think it's just Nova. Nova is also just undefeated, but I can't remember. I mean, those are two different brackets. Oh, they are. Um, Nova is in the Capital Division. We're looking at Randolph Macon, who is in the Challenger Division. Yeah, oh my god. I, I swear I looked away for a second. Why are there three more goals? Yeah, look at that. He did the ball reset. That They're just that good. They can just do it anytime they want. <laughs> what do you do in the position of Averett in this case? It, we're not even a minute in. Like It looked like they got to the ball faster that time, too. There's no one in the goal. Oh, my, ugh. I would have been upset if that went in. <laughs> Right off Macon really showing on why they like are undefeated. And I feel like I just feel like they're listening to the the stream and they heard, oh, there's a there's a contest for the most goals scored by one team. Hmm. Oh, we can make that happen. <laughs> I think currently it's it's right off Macon with nine, right? It was last game? Yeah, I think it was last game hit nine. Okay, nine. We have yet to At hit double insane. digit goals. You know, you know, first evening at Double Digital is because I have a soft taco party. <laughs> soft taco party. It's on me. <laughs> I don't know if you want to promise that. These are college I don't want to students. promise that at all, no. <laughs> Look at that full clear all the way over to blue side. And, it's and it just kind of bounces in. That was sad to see. The longest it's taken so far. Possibly because the ball was all the way over on Randolph's side. Do you see how you had three people all going for the ball at the same time? Yeah. It's just, like, like what do you do against Randolph making? Their, their offense is impeccable. Them. Their rotations are impeccable. Their defense is impeccable. They, they're just unstoppable right now. Yeah, what you <laughs> How did he end up going backwards and the ball going forward? I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> physics. <laughs> How did you maneuver your car going backwards to hit the ball forward? How? How do you do that? <laughs> How does it do? Averett's finally trying to get a handle on it, keeping the ball a little bit closer to middle and on the side of Randolph. Unfortunately, I believe I may have just cursed them again since... They are once again squaring up for another shot. Okay, but it's on the side of Randolph Bacon right now, so maybe maybe they're maybe maybe they're relaxing. <laughs> I don't blame them. They're seven points up. Okay, maybe maybe they're not relaxing. <laughs> they're still going for him. <laughs> we still have two minutes. We still have a chance for ten-digit goals. This this uh, 
this game. Don't say that. Say we still have a chance for Aver to come back, even if you don't believe it. I mean, I believe there's always a chance. I do too, and I want to believe in Aver at esports. All right, I'm waiting to see the mid-game Goku power-up spike for a team. All right, that's what I'm waiting for. Me too, man. Uh, that's that's exactly what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for waiting for Aver at Sports to just be like, oh, I get how to team play now, and they score seven goals back to back. I mean, still one minute twenty seconds left. There's there's an opportunity to do it. They can score a goal every 10 seconds starting now. Please. <laughs> Alright, well, it was worth a shot. And, uh, did, you see that, did you see that pass? Oh, and the rebound? Oh! I saw the pass to himself. Does that count? He didn't pass to himself. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that beautiful, absolutely beautiful, right to him! Well, we're... One away from the highest amount again. Scored by Randolph Macon the last game, so let's see if we can break another record. Looking if like so, it. cool. Getting pretty close. All right to Gino. The big city. Yeah. To Furzier. Oh, uh, uh, Warp and Sweaty stopped him. Yeah, Gino playing. Oddly passive. Actually, no. He was aiming for an opening there with yeah, no, full Gino's boost in middle. Gino's absolutely their defensive mid player, and he sets up the ball for a big city and Frazier to play off of each other. Yeah, I wonder how many assists just go just un like unknown because Gino passes to someone who then passes to someone else. Who knows? But I'm just looking at the team play again, and I'm just noticing how well Randolph Macon controls the ball while they have it. Yeah, you see how Gino was already moving back and then went forward because he saw an opportunity while the other two were already rotating back to see if, to, uh, in case wow. he messed up. Oh, first year, always there. Ah. <laughs> ah. First year to Gino and back to first him. year. He's right there. He's where he always needs to be at all points in the game. Oh, five seconds remain. I do believe it is impossible for Averett to come back now, so... Okay, but maybe we can get 10 goals right here. <laughs> it hit zero. <laughs> but in any case, no. <laughs> GG's Randolph Macon continues their undefeated streak. Yeah, right, let's they, take a they, look at these stats. They they complete their... their oh, thir 13 shots of nine of them going in with, what, six assists? Most of them being from Gino, as I said. Okay, but that one save, though, by Averitt. Hey, that, that one, that save, one by save by Averitt, though. though. Hey, that's what... On the board, at least. On the board. We'll take those. It's just... Once again, Randolph Macon. Super aggressive play style. Constantly rotating. Their place... Their uh, their team play is absolutely impeccable. The same, same stuff we saw last season. Or not last season. Uh, last week. Yeah, they're just so overpowering. Teamwork. A plus aggression, A plus defense. I'll give it an A because there was like one shot on goal total, even though it's <laughs> still technically an A plus because they didn't get scored on. It's just a phenomenal set of players just showing off the game. Yeah.